Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So I understand that the truck videos aren't as popular as my STI videos, which obviously makes a lot of sense. You guys prefer the STI, but I love this thing just as much as my STI. I enjoy modifying it. I enjoy driving it cleaning it, maintaining it, all of the above, just like my STI. Uh, and this thing has been an absolute pleasure owning for the past almost year now. So what I wanna do in this video is do a full modification overview. I get a lot of questions on this truck. Uh, what has been done? What are the offsets of the wheels and all that? Granted, I do have some videos on it uh, with all that stuff, but I just wanted to do one cohesive video explaining everything that I have done to this truck uh, just so I can help some people out. So if you are new to the channel, let me explain a little bit of background as to how I obtain this and why I have a truck. So for the past few years, I have been daily driving my 2017 Subaru STI. There are tons of videos on it on the channel, which I'm sure you guys have seen. But since then, I have acquired a daily driver. I was looking for something that was going to be a little bit more uh, capable to haul my kids around, be able to haul stuff in the bed of the truck, and just something that I wouldn't have to necessarily worry about as much as the STI. Over the years, as I modified that car, uh, it just became so nice that I really didn't want to drive that kind of car through uh, a northeast winter. Driving something like that through all the snow and all the salt on the roads and everything, it really, really pained me. Uh, so I wanted to pick up something that was a little bit more, uh, I guess, weather friendly uh, and something that I wouldn't have to worry as much about. So back in November of 2021, I picked up a 2015 Ford F-150. This is the XLT trim. I bought this thing completely stock with 59,000 miles on it. I'm currently at 67,000 miles, almost at 68. So I put nearly about 10,000 miles on it in a year and have done quite a few modifications to it to get it to where it looks like today. Now there's many, many different options in terms of what motor you can get in this truck. Uh, mine has the 3.5 EcoBoost, which is the turbo version. Absolutely love it. I'm a big turbo fan, obviously you guys know from my STI. So having a turbo in this truck uh, is really, really fun. It makes a lot of cool noises, especially with the modifications I have done on here, uh, performance oriented, which is not much, but uh, it sounds really, really good. And it has a lot, a lot of power, more than I was expecting when I first bought this. The torque is pretty insane. This thing can tow a lot. I'm not really sure of the exact specs, but I can tow pretty much anything that my heart desires in this thing uh, and has a lot of power for what it is. It's a pretty heavy truck, but it definitely can get down and move when you want it to. So I've done some progress videos on it and anytime I did a modification, obviously I would make a video on it, explaining everything, doing the install and all that. But this thing has made a huge transformation. There were so many people questioning uh, as to why I got the truck. It was ugly. You know, there's other trucks or cars I could have gotten. Why did I end up getting this one? And now that they've seen it modified and kind of seen uh, my taste and kind of what I've done with it, People are telling me that they want to buy this truck. They're telling me that they want to pick one up. So it's pretty funny to see the turn of events and just how quickly people's minds can change after they see something like this uh, that can change so drastically with just a few mods. So I bought this truck completely stock, as I mentioned, uh, and one of the things I wanted to get rid of first was all the chrome. Uh, there was so much chrome on this truck, it was ridiculous. The chrome bumpers, the chrome grill, it had chrome door handles, it had chrome steps and everything. It was just too much. It had chrome uh, tow hooks. It was just all over the place and I cannot stand chrome. So one of the first things that I ended up doing was de-chroming everything uh, on the bumpers. These are by bumper shells. They're literally covers that go directly over the bumper. Uh, I have them on the front. I also have them on the rear to get rid of all the chrome. Really, really nice, fit beautifully and gets rid of the chrome very, very easily. Uh, I also did the door handles. These are just caps. Uh, and then I also changed up the uh, mirrors up here. They used to be just this plasticky color, but we finished them off with the gloss black uh, and it looks a lot cleaner. Also, another thing that I did to remove the chrome was get some black F-150 badges. Again, I can't stand chrome. These are much nicer and I think it looks a lot cleaner on the black. And the grill up front here was a huge change. Uh, this is by Red Rock 4x4. Uh, really, really clean looking grill. It is a gloss black and it really, really kind of makes this whole front end look way more aggressive. I also changed up the ovals. Uh, they used to be the typical Ford blue and chrome oval, uh, and I ended up getting these, which are a matte black with a gloss black Ford logo. I think it looks really clean. I also have one on the tailgate as well. As you can see over here, I think it looks way cleaner, uh, and it really, really makes this truck look super aggressive. 
Also a couple things down low up front. I added the Putco lower grill trim here. This used to be the basic uh, slats that you see on all the trucks, but uh, I thought this was a little bit cleaner. It looks a little bit better in my eyes, so I added that. I also got rid of the OEM chrome uh, tow hooks and I upgraded to the OEM black tow hooks to make it look a little cleaner. Also, I upgraded the antenna. Really, really simple, nothing crazy, but this is a, uh, I think an eight inch, six or eight inch, uh, antenna which looks much cleaner than the stock metal uh, antenna that goes all the way up to the sky uh, and this one it just looks a lot cleaner a lot simpler it's got a little carbon there nice little touch and it works fantastic also another thing that i love doing on all my cars or trucks is upgrading all of the lighting the lighting on this truck was absolutely terrible it was all halogen bulbs it looked so bad it had a lot of chrome and everything and i just was not a fan of it so thankfully morimoto came out with some beautiful and amazing uh, lighting options for this truck i ended up picking up their morimoto xb led headlights as well as their four banger fog lights and I also got their Morimoto XB LED taillights. So it really, really modernizes the truck, makes it look a lot cleaner. I also did the Morimoto license plate LED lights here as well. Uh, I also upgraded this up here, which is not by Morimoto, uh, but is a smoked out third brake light up there. Um, which looks really nice and really clean. In terms of lighting as well, I also upgraded to the Morimoto uh, sequential turn signals here. They are smoked out, so it blends in with the mirror much better. Normally stock, they are just the clear, which really, really stands out, and I'm not a big fan of clear or anything chrome, uh, so these look really, very good, and they're sequential as well, um, so it looks really, really clean. Now, as for the wheels and tires, this was a huge change, and honestly, this is one of the things that turned it from ugly to pretty amazing. Uh, they had the stock chrome ugly wheels that were on the truck when you first got it. So I really wanted to upgrade with some really nice wheels. Uh, a lot of the truck wheels, our options out there are pretty bad. It's a lot of chrome, a lot of lips, and just something that's so over the top. So I wanted something that was gonna still give that aggressive look, but not be over the top. So I ended up picking up these. These are Fuel Rebels in the satin black. They are beautiful. I absolutely love these wheels. A lot of Raptor guys end up using these wheels as well. Uh, so I was happy to see that. It was not planned. I just ended up liking them. And then I ended up seeing them on a lot of Raptors. Uh, but these are 20 by 10 minus 18. The tires are Nitto Ridge Grapplers. These are 33 by 12 and a halfs. Um, so it's nothing aggressive, nothing crazy. I would love to go up to 35s, but to, to keep it as simple as possible, I stayed with the 33s. So in terms of lifting this truck, I really didn't want to do anything crazy. This is a daily driver. My kids get in the back and everything, so I don't want to be obnoxious and do a crazy six inch lift or anything like that. So I ended up just doing a front level kit. This is the two and a half inch level kit by Max Track. Uh, basically, it's like a hockey puck that sits above the struts right here. And what it does, it actually levels out the front. Since from the factory, the front sits a little bit lower uh, than the rear for towing capabilities. But now that the level kit is in, uh, the front and the rear is nice and level. Now, in terms of performance modifications, I really didn't do much. Honestly, I don't plan on doing too much. Uh, but what I did in the engine bay uh, was I added an engine uh, intake. Sounds really good. A lot of turbo noises. It sounds fantastic. <laughs> and I really, really enjoy the sound of this. I also added a Cobb coolant tank since it's pretty ugly, as you can see back there. Uh, so what this does, it actually covers it up and gives it a much nicer look. I also added a JLT uh, oil catch can, highly recommend that. Um, it really, really does a good job at keeping all the uh, blow by out of the engine and uh, dumps it into the can, which I empty every thousand miles or so. And that's pretty much it in the engine bay, but I also did an exhaust, something simple. I didn't want anything crazy loud or obnoxious. I ended up going with an XBRP uh, four inch cat back. Uh, really, really nice, sounds really good. It's not over the top, it does have a nice deep growl, uh, but it's not something that's gonna be annoying driving it every day. There's hardly any drone at all. I also added a black uh, five inch MBRP exhaust tip as well to go with the whole black theme. Now for the interior, I didn't do much at all. There wasn't really much I wanted to do, but I had some uh, WeatherTech floor mats. I have them in the front as well as the rear. 
uh, for my kids and everything. Just really practical since I could just hose them out. I don't have to worry about the carpets getting all dirty. Uh, I also added 20% tint since the rears are already tinted from the factory. I just did the fronts to match. But the most recent modification that I did to this truck is right here. This is the Revisol steering wheel. It's all leather, super, super chunky, uh, much better than stock. Stock is very, very thin and it looks really gross and old after you know almost 68,000 miles. So I upgraded to a really, really nice uh, full leather steering wheel with the red stripe. Looks really clean. I'm really, really happy with it. I added the carbon fiber trim here. It's okay. Not 100% on board with it, but I've been running it for a while now. And you can easily just pull it off if you want to, so I've been sticking with it. But otherwise, uh, I added a Uniden R7 radar hardwired to the mirror. Another really cool modification that I added to this truck is remote start. Uh, this truck is parked outside and in the winter it gets very, very cold out. Uh, so having something to be able to start the truck uh, and get it nice and warm before I get in it with my kids and everything is really, really nice. You can get them from the factory, but this truck was not optioned with it. Uh, so I found a really, really cool aftermarket option that anybody can install. I did a whole video on it. It is actually called a Start X Remote Kit. Uh, basically, it just plugs right into the OBD2 port, and then you can use your OEM key. So all you gotta do is hit lock, unlock, and lock, and you wait a few seconds and it starts right up. So there you go, it started right up. A very, very nice option to get your car nice and warm or cooled off depending on the season without having to go to the dealer uh, to get a really, really expensive uh, OEM kit installed. This was only like $130. Really, really nice option if you're looking to add remote start to your truck. Now, as for future modifications, there's only a few more things that I would like to do to this truck. Uh, a couple things that I'm going to be upgrading in the near future. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a refresh of the brakes, going to get some new pads and rotors. Uh, these, again, have 68,000 miles on it. There's still plenty of life on them, but I just want to clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer and get some fresh new rotors and pads on there. They're really not expensive at all to do, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get those knocked out. Also, to make this truck ride as smooth and as nice as possible, I decided to uh, do a suspension refresh, a suspension upgrade. I'm not going to be doing a lift kit, as I mentioned. I'm not going to be doing uh, any type of coilover or any crazy Fox or King setup or anything like that that you see on the Raptors. I'm just going to be upgrading the struts to Bilstein 5100s on the front and rear. It's going to make this truck ride much smoother, much nicer. It rides really nice stock, but it's a little bumpy for what it is. Uh, and doing the Bilstein 5100s is going to make it that much better. Plus, after almost 68,000 miles, uh, I think it's going to really, really make this truck feel like new. In the back of the truck, this is the OEM uh, spray-in bed liner, which looks really, really nice. I'm really impressed with it. It has a nice Ford logo up there. Uh, but I do plan on getting a nice cover. I want to go with the back flip uh, cover, the one that you can fold into three. Uh, so you can keep this closed and covered. Uh, so if you have anything in here, it stays nice and dry, but you have the ability to flip it up. This truck, when I got it, came with the ARE um, tonu cover, which was the hard cover, and it was on the hydraulic. So it really limited uh, what you were able to carry in the bed of the truck, and I absolutely hated how it looked, and I really, really hated uh, that it limited to what I was able to haul in this truck. So got rid of that, sold that. So since then, I have been on the hunt to pick up a backflip bed cover. I think those things look fantastic, and it's gonna really, really clean up the back of this truck. Another thing that I would like to add to this truck is the amp research steps on the side. Those are the ones that when you open the door, they come down, and when you close the door, they go back up. They're pretty expensive for what they are. They're like $1,200 or so. So, so I haven't gotten around to it and the truck is not high enough to really really warrants them But my kids are much smaller so it would help them definitely as well as my wife So I will eventually get to them. I couldn't stand the stock chrome uh, side steps So I end up taking them off and I end up selling them actually uh, and I do think it looks really good without them I think it looks very very clean and much better without them I want to get some type of updated head unit in the truck something with CarPlay something a little bit more modern the one in there is pretty dated there's no CarPlay and that's basically all I use in all my other cars. Uh, so I'd really like to get something in there uh, with CarPlay. Now that pretty much wraps up everything that I have done in the past uh, 10, 11 months for this truck. It has taken a huge leap from being a really, really ugly chrome uh, stock F-150 to something that uh, personally I love driving every single day. I love looking at it and everything. It looks fantastic. 
uh, and it handles all types of weather. I'm very, very thankful that I have this. I wouldn't want it any other way. And now that I have a truck, I don't think I could ever not have one in my life. It's just so darn practical. The back seat area is absolutely massive. There is so much room for all my kids. I could fit all three kids straight across the back in car seats, which is kind of unheard of. So it's really, really nice to just hop in this with the whole family uh, and not have to worry about, you know, who can fit and who can, who's uncomfortable and all that. So it is really, really nice to have all this extra space. Now I do plan on keeping this truck for a very, very long time. Uh, I may upgrade to something in the future. Maybe another Ford, we'll see. But as of right now, I really, really do plan on keeping this thing for a very long time. It just serves uh, so much practicality in my life with kids and being a homeowner and hauling stuff all the time. It's so nice just to hop in this and not have to worry about anything. Don't have to worry about ground clearance and all that. Uh, in my STI, it is super, super low. Uh, so it's nice to kind of just get in something and not really care about it as much uh, and just have some fun. I have yet to take this thing off-road. My buddy actually did a little bit of off-roading in this when he had it when I had his Porsche and it handled everything that he threw at it very very well uh, so I do plan on doing some uh, mild off-roading in the near future and I'm really looking forward to this coming winter uh, with the inclement weather and all the snow and everything and having the truck set up like this uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to it so that is it for this one guys I hope you enjoyed it there's a little overview of my truck and everything that I've done in the past almost year of owning it uh, still plenty of things more to do uh, so I will update you guys with any future modifications. I've done tons of maintenance on it, spark plugs, oil changes, uh, a bunch of other stuff as well to keep this thing in tip top shape. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to kind of making it my own for many, many years to come. So that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions at all about this truck or anything else, please ask them in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.